of videos. This one is for um, Eureka Math, Module 2, Lesson 1, Problem Set. We're going to look at problems 1 through 5 is all I'm asking you to do on this one. Um, I'm going to give a few examples, and then I'm going to have the answers for some of them, and I'm going to work through some of the story problems in here. Um, so it's going to have, you'll be able to check all of them, but I won't have the work for all of them. Um, so you should be able to go through all these. Remember yesterday when we went through the lesson or earlier when we went through the lesson, um, our learning target was I can divide fractions by a whole number. And to do that, we talked about how we can write division problems from word problems. You need to be able to do that for this lesson. And you need to identify the reciprocal of a whole number. And remember the reciprocal of five was one fifth. So it's just the whole number, um, one over the whole number, was the reciprocal. And we'll talk more about reciprocals as we go on. Um, multiply by the reciprocal of the whole number is how you end up dividing these out. And then solve, simplify the answer if needed. So that's what we're going to be doing. I'll do a couple of examples. Then we'll have all the answers up here, and you can pause the video if you need to check those. And then we'll worry about the couple of the story problem ones. Like I say, we're only doing one through five, so we won't do problems six or seven. So let's look at the first ones, okay? So as we go through these, these are ones that we were doing. We're going to look at one or on problem one A and B. So if we look at these, remember we talked about it. So we have how we can change them to a multiplication problem. One third divided by four. So that's splitting one third into four. Remember when we talked about it, one third into four is the same as timesing that by one fourth. And we talked about how one fourth is the reciprocal of four. So we end up by timesing by the reciprocal of our whole number. And then we just multiply that straight across. So one times one is one. And three times four is. 12. And so that's multiplying by our reciprocal of our whole number. And the reason they were reciprocal is reciprocal is just what we call flip fraction. We can put any whole number over 1 and it doesn't change the value of it. And then we just 4 over 1 flipped is 1 over 4. So that's the idea of reciprocal. And we're going to be using that a lot in division of fractions. Okay, so this one can't simplify, so we just leave it as that. Let's go on to this next one. So again, on this next one, we have two-fifths. And right now, it's divided by four. So again, we're going to multiply it by the reciprocal of four, which is one-fourth. So when you buy that, we're going to end up with two times one is two. And 5 times 4 is 20. Now, this one is not simplified, so we need to go ahead and simplify that. And the way we simplify it is we're going to divide both of these by 2, because 2 will go into both those. So we're going to divide them both by 2. 2 divided by 2 gives us... 1 and 20 divided by 2, so the simplified version of that is 1 tenth. So again, we're multiplying by the reciprocal, and the reciprocal of 4 is 1 fourth. And you're going to continue doing that with all of these. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the next slide. You'll be able to pause these, check these. On the next slide, I have the answer for the rest of these. You want to pause and check these, and then I'm going to go on to the next one. So here's the answer for all these. Notice how we're multiplying by, if we're dividing by 5, we're multiplying by the reciprocal of 5, which is 1 fifth. If we're dividing by 2, we're multiplying by 1 half, which is the reciprocal of 2. Okay, so go ahead, pause these, check these, but we're going to go on now and work on the story problems. If you have questions, make sure you do let me know. But let's do the couple story problems. We're going to do four and five. Okay, so our first story problem is here we, hit, we have four loads of stone weigh two-thirds of a ton. Find the weight of one load of stone. So in other words, they've hauled four loads, and that's two-thirds. So that means we need to take this 
2 thirds, because that's the total, and we need to divide it by 4 to see what each load was. So we end up with 2 thirds, and we're going to divide that by the total loads we hauled, which was 4. And so that's our division problem. So we wrote our division problem. Then we're going to change that into a multiplication problem by multiplying by our reciprocal of four, what we're dividing by, which is one fourth, and that becomes two times one is two, and three times four is 12, so that we have that. Now we need to simplify that by two, we're going to both those, so we're gonna divide them both by two, divide them both by two, and we end up, um, with our simplified fraction. So 2 divided by 2 is 1, and 12 divided by 2 is 6. So 1 6 is our simplified version. So each load, and you'd go ahead and write these out, each load was 1 sixth of a ton. And when you get all those together, it would be um, 2 thirds of a ton. <laughs> now for checking these, you could add those together, you could multiply it back but um, we're not going to worry about that right now. You will want to check these on a test or something to see. So always think about it. We would multiply 1 6 by 4 and see if we ended up with 2 with two thirds. Okay. Um, so any questions on that? Let's look at the next one here, okay? Now, the width of a rectangle with an area of so the area is 5 eighths and we want to know the width we have a length of 10 inches now we know length times width equals the area so if we know the area if we divide it by the length that will give us the give us the width so we need to take our area and divide our area by the length and if we divide our area by the length, that will give us our width. So the area divided by the length will give us our width. Now we're going to change that since we're dealing with fractions into a multiplication problem. And we're going to times that by the reciprocal of 10, which is 1 tenth. So we multiply it, so we end up with 5 over 80 and this one we need to simplify 5 will go into both those so we're going to divide them both by 5 80 divided by 5 whoops 80 not 8 okay 80 divided by so 5 divided by 5 is just 1 80 divided by 5, 5 will go into 80 10 times with 30 left over, so that would be 6. So we end up being 16. Okay, so the other length then would be 1 16th of an inch. And so it would be inches since this side's inches, and it's square inches, it would be inches. So 1 16th of an inch would be the other side of it. So again, so that's the check on these problems. So um, if you needed help, there was the help on those. Again, we aren't going to do, you don't need to do six and seven for this one. All the only ones I had you do was up to five. So if you have any questions, let me know. And if you need any help, make sure you let me know. Good luck with these and have a good day. Bye.